this is the intake removal on the XC90 2.4 D5 Euro 4 engine. After removing the engine cover you've got this additional insulation and mount at the back of the engine. Undo the Jubilee clips on the pipe that goes from the EGR to the intake manifold. Now we can undo the high pressure fuel feeds to the injectors. These are all 15mm nuts. Now remove all the wiring harness going to the injectors and there's one connector at the front. Remove this rocker cover breather. Now you've got the injector diesel leak off connectors. Now on the D5 engine these are metal and they can become quite well stuck in the injector so I'm using some pliers here and it may help to put a little bit of penetrating fluid on them just to help ease them off. The injectors are clamped down with two 8mm bolts each. Loosen and remove the bolts. You might need a thin wall extended socket for this as it's quite close to the cover to squeeze the socket down next to the injector. And once loosened fully, here I am removing them with a magnet so that I don't drop them down into the ports or down the back of the engine. Now I've never found that the injectors be particularly stuck in the head of the engine on the D5 engine. Here I am just using a 23mm spanner I think to twist them free and make sure that they're going to come out easily enough. Now I should have probably done this at the start but we need to remove the brace between the struts which is also the engine mount. So we've got a nut and bolt going through the engine mount and then we've got one to each side of the strut brace. On the struts the nut is at the bottom so you'll be able to hold this with an open ended spanner while using a ratchet at the top. Just be careful not to drop the nut when you get to the end of the bolt.
now on the engine mount you've got three 13mm bolts if I recall correctly and one 8mm going all the way through. And there's also a cable clip that you may need to remove from the right hand side of the mount. There's also a cable clip on the back of the mount that will need removing before you can remove the mount fully. Now prior to removing the intake I should have moved this pipe out of the way. I'll show you how to do that after. So what happened was at this point I removed all of the 8mm bolts around the intake slash rocker cover all 8 mils I do manage to remove the rocker cover but I'll show you the breather on the right hand side can be moved further out of the way and also the feed from the high pressure fuel pump. You can move this pipe further out of the way by undoing this jubilee clip here. And if you just loosen this 17mm bolt here, you can turn this pipe away from the rocker cover, leaving you with much more room. So now we can give the intake manifold a very good clean. So you can see the state of this one. This car had 130,000 miles on it, but we're not sure if it may have been cleaned before. And we can also clean the ports and the swirl flaps the best we can. At the same time as doing the intake manifold, you'll find in my other videos I also did the EGR and the throttle body. And I used a combination of Bojo scrapers and oven cleaner to clean everything up as best as possible. Thanks for watching and I hope this video has made your job easier on your car. For more videos on this car and many many others please check out my channel.